Hello and welcome to the Next Steps Hunt Program Safety Orientation. My name is Holly Moslin and I work for Pheasants Forever and Quail Forever here in Nebraska. I am also the Next Steps Hunt Program Coordinator. In order to ensure that your Next Steps Hunt Program where you will be learning upland game bird hunting skills is a great one, we'll be reviewing some of our safety skills and looking forward to the hunt that you'll be going on. As part of the Next Steps Hunt program, you have already participated in a hunter education course and then later on with one of our Pheasants Forever or Quill Forever chapters, a youth mentor hunt. In order to build more of your firearm safety skills, we will also be participating in a Blue Rock or Target shooting day. Always follow and read safety range protocols. Ear and eye protection are always a must. There are three different types of ear protection. Ear plugs or inserts, earmuffs, and then your combination option of both. Decide what works best for the type of shooting you are doing and protect your hearing. When mounting your gun, bring your gun up to your cheek, then pull into your shooter's pocket. Your shooter's pocket is located below your collarbone and inside your shoulder. You can find this by sticking your arm out in front of you, bringing your fist back, and then checking that you are in the right spot by testing with your index finger. Practice will help ensure success on the practice range or before the hunt. When shooting your shotgun, keep both eyes open to help with depth perception. Look down the barrel, but focus on your target instead of the bead. Again, practice will help make your hunting trip a success. You can practice at many locations across Nebraska, including indoor and outdoor shooting ranges, some wildlife management areas and state parks, and controlled shooting areas. Check out www.outdoornebraska.gov slash shooting sports facilities. Moving from target shooting to hunting, many safety rules follow over. Four of the main rules are key to hunting in the field. Number one, treat every firearm as if it is loaded. This means always handling with care. Number two, keep the muzzle of the gun pointed in a safe direction and never at anything you do not want to shoot. Number three, keep your finger off the trigger until you are ready to shoot. And number four, keep the safety on until you are ready to shoot and understand that it is a mechanical device that can fail. It is up to you and your safety practices to prevent an accidental fire. You can do this by keeping your finger outside of the trigger guard until you are ready to shoot. Places where you can hold are on the stock, finger next to the chamber, or on the trigger guard itself. When preparing for a hunt and stocking up on ammunition, you always want to check and match that that ammo meets the firearm guidelines and is appropriate for the target you are pursuing. You can check this by reading the manual that the firearm came with, reading on the side of the barrel, or contacting a gunsmith. On the barrel of the gun, you will have the gauge of the shotgun followed by the length of ammunition that it is capable of firing. This may also be followed by a statement of lead only for some specialized shotguns. For checking ammunition, you can read the information on the box. You will look at shot size in ounces, length, velocity, etc. In some cases, ammo may be mixed up or in the pockets where you do not have the box to help identify the ammo on hand. In this case, on the outside of the shell casing is a size of shot, length, and other details that are printed on the outside. The gauge is usually stamped on the outer ring near the primer. Ammunition must match the required specifications for the shotgun that you are using. If you do not know, ask a professional before firing the shotgun. To search for the appropriate load for the target you are pursuing, you can check the game guides provided and published by the Nebraska Game and Parks Commission. For the purposes of next steps, we will utilize the Small Game and Waterfowl Guide. There you will find a chart showing the necessary number of BBs, load size and velocity to perform an ethical harvest. You can also discuss this with your Pheasants Forever or Quail Forever chapter mentor. When it is time to hunt, it is important to remember Hunter or Blaze Orange. While it is not required by law for Upland Pursuit in Nebraska, this Hunter or Blaze Orange helps other hunters to see you in the tall vegetation that you will be hunting in, as well as protect you from hunters that might be pursuing other game that does require that orange to be worn. Put on your gear and carry everything that you might need with you. This includes water and snacks. 
This is also another good time to check that your ammunition it fits with your firearm before placing it in your bag or vest. Shotguns will remain unloaded and cased when not in use, especially for transportation. When you arrive at your designated field, you can remove the shotgun from the case. Ensure that the chamber is open so that everyone can see that the firearm is unloaded. You will not load your firearm until you are away from the vehicles, the road, and have safely crossed into the hunting field. Then your mentor will tell you to load your shotgun. The same rules follow for unloading when exiting the field and approaching a road or your vehicles. It is up to your Pheasants Forever or Quail Forever chapter mentor on how many shots you will be allowed to have loaded. No more than three, as that will be the program requirement for safety in upland game bird hunting. In the event that you need to unload your firearm while in the field, you should know how to safely empty the chamber without firing your gun. Practice this before your time in the field. You can cover the specific way of your chosen firearm while reading your owner's manual or with your chapter mentor prior to the hunting experience. Remember that it is important to walk in a line with your hunting partners. The muzzle of the gun should always be pointed in a safe direction, the safety on, and the finger off the trigger. Staying in line allows for safe hunting, easier communication, better bird flushing, and more shooting opportunities for the group. Your mentor may want you to carry your firearm in a certain style, so always follow their guidance for the best safety practices. While there are many field carry options for your firearm, many of them are not meant for upland game bird hunting. The preferred carries for upland game bird hunting are two hand ready, where both hands are on the firearm, one on the stock grip, the other on the forearm. It maintains complete control of the shotgun, allowing for maximum safety. This carry is also the most prepared carry, allowing for smooth transition if a bird were to flush. However, it can also be tiring on the arms for long trips. If you are in the middle position of the firing line, it is your constant job to be in a two-hand ready, ensuring that your muzzle is always pointed up. Shoulder carry is a nice break from tiring out both arms. It allows for safe muzzle control while also providing the flexibility for a smooth mount at the flush of a bird. Cradle carry allows for a break in tiring arms. However, should not be done if you are in the middle of the firing line because you could easily point your muzzle at one of your hunting partners. This carry, while providing an okay transition to mounting, will take more time if a bird were to flush. For the Next Steps Hunt program, you will be hunting with bird dogs. Not only do the normal zones of fire come into play, but you will also have a lower zone where the bird dog will be working and that you will need to make sure that you avoid. Let's refresh on the zones of fire. For an individual hunting, you will have about 15 degrees off to either side of you. You can figure out your zone of fire by standing, starting with your arms at your side and raising them up. Where your fists are, you can then move out about six inches. This is your firing zone. When hunting with others, your zones of fire may overlap a bit. Know where your zone of fire ends and another begins for safe shooting. Maintaining your firing line with your partners is key to keeping your zones of fire their safest while hunting. If you see one of your hunting partners in your zone of fire, you will not shoot. Your hunter mentor may even communicate this by calling out, no shot, no bird, don't shoot as a way of communicating that this shot is unsafe to take. Anybody at any time can call no shot if they think that the shot is unsafe to take. For adding a zone of fire with a dog, you will need to be able to see the horizon line or the sky before taking the shot. The dog should always be well below where you are going to be shooting. If you do not feel that the shot is safe enough to take without harming the dog, do not take that shot. When you're in the field and a dog finds a bird, your chapter mentor may call dog on point. This means that the dog has found the bird and the group can begin approaching. As you approach, you should have the gun in a two hand ready with the muzzle pointed up in the air and your instructor will teach you on how to approach the dog. If you have any questions, ask at that time so that everybody is safe. You should always have the first opportunity when taking the first shot. Remember to think about what lies beyond your target, where your zone of fire is, and if there is anything in that zone, including the dog. Everything will move fast when the bird flushes, 
but it is important to think about all of the safety rules. A missed shot is always worth it if you think someone might get hurt. When a bird gets up, you will communicate with each other on the identification of that game. In the Next Steps Hunt program, there are several options of birds that you can harvest. You could call out rooster, meaning the male pheasant that you are pursuing. You may also have opportunities to shoot at quail, chucker, or a hen pheasant. After you have identified the bird with your hunting group, and the bird is in your zone of fire without a safety concern, you should mount, turn off your safety, and shoot. Birds should never be shot while on the ground. Remember that hens can only be harvested on controlled shooting areas, and never in the wild. Once your shots have been taken, you should engage the safety once again, remove your finger from the trigger, and point the muzzle in a safe direction. Then communicate with your hunting partners. If you have succeeded in shooting the bird, the dog will begin the retrieval. You should stay in place during this time to make the retrieval a much easier process. Your chapter mentor should have already explained to you on if you can retrieve the bird from the dog or not. Most dogs will return to their handler and then the mentor will provide you with your recent harvest. Let's recap some of the most important safety concerns while in the Next Steps Hunt program. The four firearm safety handling rules. Number one, treat every firearm as if it is loaded. Number two, the muzzle should always be pointed in a safe direction and never at anything you do not want to shoot. Number three, keep your finger off of the trigger until you are ready to shoot. Number four, the safety should always be on and the finger outside of the trigger guard unless you are ready to shoot. Other safety concerns we covered were knowing your firearm and ammunition. Make sure they match for safe shooting as well as providing for an ethical harvest. And communicate with your mentor on questions or concerns. Do not be afraid to call out any unsafe shots. Our Next Steps Hunt program is a fantastic way to build upon your upland game bird hunting skills, network with experienced hunters, and continue your pursuit of a lifelong tradition. Being safe while learning these experiences is our number one goal. Constant safety reminders should always be given and followed while you're in your field and building upon your upland game bird hunting skills while making safety a habit. This way, as you graduate the Next Steps Hunt program, not only will you be a skilled hunter, but you'll be one that showcases and honors that safety is the backbone of hunting. Thank you for participating in our program. Best wishes in the field, and we'll see you out there.